So in this video we're going to show you how to go about getting a domain name. So one of the things I like to do after I do all of my keyword research, and that'll be in, a, in another video, but once I do my keyword research, um, I look for a domain that has my exact primary keyword phrase in it. it has to be an exact match. Um, that's, that's the ideal solution. Um, if you can't get an exact match, try for something very close. So what I like to use is I like to use this thing called Instant Domain Search. And then I just type in the domain that I want to go for. And you can see here that the .com is taken, and it's taken by me. Um, but .net and .org are available. I like to choose .net next in the hierarchy, um, simply because it's known as a commercial entity, whereas .org, people tend to think that it's um, more of along the lines of an education or a .gov uh, top-level domain. So we know that it's available, so then we go back to Namecheap, which is a very good domain name registrar, and we type in the domain we want, and we click on search, and hopefully we find here that .NET is available. It is, and then we add it to the cart. If you have a coupon code, enter it right here, click apply, and you'll see a discount here. I do happen to have a coupon code. Click apply. See that the price went down a little bit, and then we can check out. So when you get to this page, you can either create an account if you don't have one, or if you do have an account, you can just type in your username and password here and click login. And then you'll get to this page and click on the next step. And you can change your name servers here. We go over that in, a, in another video. Or you can use their free name servers for right now. I will go ahead and do this. And I'm going to pause it for a second while I go retrieve that information. And then you go to Save and Continue. You can see that you're, you've reserved this, the Ultimate Guide to WordPress.net in this case. Here's my price. And then you can pay with available funds, or credit card, or with PayPal. I usually use PayPal. So we'll go there. Then you click on login once you've typed in your email and PayPal password. Then you can check over the options, click on continue. And this can take a bit of time. So I'm going to pause it here, and this is what the page looks like when you're done. Once you see this page, you're done and your order is complete. Then what we do is we always want to verify. So let's go here to My Account and then Manage Domains. Scroll all the way to the bottom where, where it should be, and you can see that it's right here. Click on that. Let's check our domain name server setup, and it's there. We'll show you how to do that in a different video, but it's there. And let's go back to my account, and we're done. Hi, the very first thing you want to do after you register our new do domain name is to configure your name servers at your domain registrar. Domain registrars are similar. You need to look for a link called Domains or Manage My Account, and then find um, a link called Manage My Domains. So with Namecheap, what you do is you go to My Account and Manage Domains and then you scroll down to your newly created um, domain name and this is the one I just created and you transfer DNS to web host and then in here under specify custom DNS servers you type in your new name servers 
and you should always have at least two. And then you click on Save Changes and read the note that appears. Um, it may take a few minutes, even a couple hours, for the uh, name server information to propagate throughout the internet. But once that's done, you can then go to the first step of installing WordPress. If you're going to host more than one website with the same web host, you're going to have to take a step between changing your name servers and installing WordPress. And to do that, you go to Add on Domains, type in your domain name, choose password, and then click on Add on Add Domain. And it may take a few minutes, but once you see this message, the add-on domain and your domain name has been created, you're done and you can move on to the next step. Okay, there are a couple ways to install WordPress. Um, the first way is the old-fashioned way, and that's the manual way, and we'll show you that in a different uh, video. Um, but in this uh, video, we're going to show you how to do it um, through basically a, a push-button system. Um, called Fantastico. There's another push button system called Simple Scripts, which some other web hosts use. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to use Fantastico. So if you log into your cPanel and um, scroll down to Fantastico Deluxe, and then click on WordPress, and then click on New Installation, and then choose your domain, and then type in admin and some kind of password, and then choose an admin nickname, and then type in your email address. and then type in your site name and then type in a description then click the button install WordPress and note several things you want to write down what your database name is and your database username is and you also want to make sure that the URL is right and then you want to click on finish installation and then what you want to do is you want to show you know you want to record your password you know your username is admin and then you want to click on this link in a couple minutes it may not work right away but um, it will work in a few minutes so this is what it looks like so I would suggest that you log in there we go this is what the website looks like by default and that's it okay in this video I'm going to show you how to um, use simple scripts to do a one button installation of WordPress so um, one of the web hosts I use called Bluehost actually uses simple scripts as their one button installer for WordPress so click on your control panel login fill in all the information for your login, click on login and then while that's loading we're gonna go to Namecheap which is where I registered a new domain today don't pay attention to any of this stuff
go to my account, manage domains, log in, go find your domain, and mine is livermoretattoos.com. and then transfer DNS to web host. This is a pretty simple step. Save changes. And that's done. Let's go see Nope, it'll take a while. So anyway, we'll pause here and wait for the DNS to propagate, and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. So what we're going to do now is this is what it looks like when the DNS is propagated, because now the name servers have been propagated. They know that um, Bluehost is actually hosting the website. So let's go back to Bluehost and choose Add on Domain, and it will be right here. and then type in your domain name. It should take just a second or 10. Okay, it's an add-on domain, so choose add-on versus part. Always choose add-on. Scroll down, let it create its own directory, which makes sense, and then the subdomain is going to be called this. That was all done automatically by virtue of our entering the domain right here. Okay. Once all that's done and, you, and you've ensured that you've clicked on Add on Domain, click down here on Add Domain. And this takes a little bit of time, maybe 30 seconds or so. So I'm going to pause here. Okay, this is what the screen looks like as or after you've added on your domain. Okay, so that's that. What we want to do now is go to cPanel up here. All right, and then you want to scroll down to Software and Services, Simple Scripts. Wait for that page to load and then scroll all the way down to WordPress and then scroll all the way down to install and then you, get, you have to choose where you would like WordPress to be installed so go find your domain name it's right there and then under advanced options you can type in your website name and you can either have it generate a random administrator username and password or just choose one yourself automatically create a new d database you want to do that that's a huge time saver and in step three check the box as well then click on complete and you can see here that the stat status is ready to process now the status is at 25 percent and it goes pretty quick from here Copy your password, use your login URL, type in your admin username, copy your password, and then click login. Okay. This is what the website looks like, which will be not much. A little more tattoos, just another WordPress site. Here's your standard first post. Here's your archives and meta, sample page, all that kind of stuff. So that's that on installing WordPress with simple scripts.